take it all from him. Take my money, take the jet, take the house. I still got me. I still got my courage. I still got who I know I am now. For the first time in my life, I know who I am. Thank you very much. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love you guys. For most of you that, that have ever struggled in your life, I come from a lot of struggle, okay? In, in uh, 1983, I was living in that little joint right there. It was 200, rent was $275 a month. Uh, I lived in one half of it. I was beat within 76 stitches in my head and face. I was beat within, I don't know, inches of my life. In 1983, I started to turn my whole life around. I was broke at that time. I was 25 years of age. This was 35 years ago, I'm 60 years old. It seems like, it seems like this was just like yesterday. And time's passing. How many of you are like, ah, I can't believe I'm this old, or this age, or that age, right? Or 25, I remember when I was 25, I can't believe I'm 25, I'm an old man. <laughs> right? And, and so I was broke at that time, I was in debt. How many have been in debt before? Not a good feeling. And that's what everybody kept telling me. And that's one of the things that kept me from being where I should be. Okay, you're getting misinformation right now. I was broke, I was in debt, I was, I was literally bankrupt in every way a person could be bankrupt. Spiritually, mentally, physically. I weighed 138 pounds, I weighed maybe 170, so it's about 32 pounds less than I weigh right now. I was sick, I was a mess. But how many of you had, have you been a mess before in your life? Okay, good. So we got a lot in common. I know this, if you want things to change, they can change. And they're not gonna change just because you pray, just because you wish, just because you hope, and they won't change just because your family wants it to change. It did not change until, until I started getting information. And it didn't start changing until I started getting rid of information. One of the most important things that happened to me in my life was to get rid of information. A man told me once, he's like, hey, look, man, if things aren't going well, somebody or something is causing it not to go well. If things aren't going well, something or someone is causing things not to go well. He said, Grant, before you take on other people, why don't you just take on these 24 inches right here, bud? Okay, before you take on changing the whole world, why don't you handle like between your shoulders? Because you got your hands full.